With Shame and EX now banned and expanded, the entire format has seen a huge shift. In the first tournament where the most recent bans were in effect, those are Shame and EX, Milotic, Orangaroo, and Sableye, Garchomp and Giratina took home first place, utilizing every support Pokemon available in Crobat V, Dedenny GX, and Tapu Lele GX. Just plays one of each because, I mean, you can't play them. I mean, you can play Tapu Lele more than once a turn, but Crobat V, that's once a turn. Dedenny GX, that's once a turn. And in expanded, games might last two or three turns, so you don't need more than one of each. And overall, the deck uses Calamitous Slash. That does 160 plus another 80 if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it. So you play the Galarian Zigzagoon, you play the Coughing, you play the Roxy Tombo. You just, you play a whole bunch of things designed to use Calamitous Slash for 240 turn after turn. And the deck plays four copies of Double Dragon Energy. That one, it's just an amazing card. This card can only be attached to a dragon. This card provides every type of energy, but provides only two energy at a time, only while this card is attached to a dragon Pokemon. So it, it's just amazing. And because of that, this deck really takes advantage of the best dragon Pokemon out there. Noivern GX for a single double dragon energy, your opponent can't play any item cards, and then if you can attach a lightning energy with Tapu Koko, your opponent can't play any special energy cards. And that is, I mean, Ultra Necrozma can't do anything. If you use Sonic Volume on their only Ultra Necrozma that has the energy on it, and then you use Sonic Volume and just do that turn after turn, your opponent can't do anything. So it is an absolute game winning attack in certain matchups in Expanded. And while Noivern GX can do 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon, and Garchomp and Giratina can just discard your opponent's Pokemon, which, you know, can be important in Expanded, the best GX attack is Chaotic Order with Naginatal and Guzzlord. If you put a Double Dragon Energy and a Lightning Energy on this thing, you just take two prize cards. That's it. So you take four prizes with Garchomp and Giratina, and then just use Chaotic Order, and it is amazing. It shortens games by a whole heck of a lot, and it can be more powerful than Altered Creation, because with Altered Creation on ADP, you actually have to take a knockout to take prizes. With Chaotic Order, you just take two prizes. It doesn't matter what your opponent's doing, you just take two prizes. So let's see if the best expanded deck to end 2020 fares well for me today. And they're letting me go first. You never want to go first in Expanded, unless you absolutely have to. And unfortunately, I will have to put the Tapu Lele into play. That is fine. I already have a supporter in my hand, so... I mean, Tapu Lele, as you put it down, you get a supporter. Well, if you already have a supporter, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to lose. So I'll just... Battle Compressor, go get... Put those two in the discard. And then what do I want to do? Do I want to put... A supporter? No, I don't want to do that yet. So let's put a lightning energy, and I always prize double dragon energy. That's just the way the world works. And I don't think the Noivern is necessarily gonna do anything in this entire game. The only way it would matter is if they have a really bad first turn. So I could stop them from playing, you know, more energy. So I is Noibat even in the deck? Okay, Noibat's in the deck. I think I just go for it and hope. You know, I don't really know how I can win. They can't knock out Noivern GX, which is good. So I think this is the game plan. Uh, alternatively, obviously, I can knock out ADP if I put enough damage counters on it. And with Muscle Band and Coughing. Okay, so this is Garchomp and Giratina with ADP. So maybe I should have just gone for my Garchomp and Gear. Oh, let's see, they didn't do anything. I'm a genius. And let's see if I can get my other coughing because that'll just be a game winning card. I don't even know if it's in the deck. I don't want to be using my Ultra Balls to do this. Well, actually, I guess it doesn't really matter because, uh, I mean, I have my only evolution in my hand and there's another coughing, so that's perfect. So now I just have to hope that I draw well off the Roxy. I still have Crobat, I still have Dedenny, and you know, it wasn't, oh, here we go. This is, this is really good. The only unfortunate thing is that I don't have what I need. Let's hope, I was going to say, let's hope this is a quick ball so I can go get Garchomp and Giratina and I guess to Denny. We'll do that. I will, yeah, so I'll get rid of that. I still can't retreat, which is unfortunate, but I'll get to Denny. We'll see what happens. I will have to ditch the rescue stretcher, which is totally fine. Got that, got that. Quick ball. I mean, I could pop the execute again. Uh, no, I can't Can't get Tapu Koko. That would be stupid. 
And so there's the Denny, I guess, because I'm already taking a knockout, right? So I'm doing 240 plus the muscle band. So that's 260. Yeah, so that's enough. So I can hit the Dark Jump into your Tina. And yeah, they had a bad first turn. That's all it takes in Expanded. There's a Float Stone. I don't have what I need to win, but I can do some things if necessary. And there's a Muscle Band. That's not what I need. I will attack, I think regardless but if this is a quick ball there you go better than quick ball right i don't need great catcher uh oh i i forgot i got a little ahead of myself there so i'll just get rid of that and i guess juniper because i'm taking all these prizes anyway and then i'll just tap a coco so that was definitely a mistake on my part i should have pulled the executes out of the discard but Trying to play a little quick because, I mean, they got nothing going on. I don't want this game to go any longer than it needs to. And there you go. That's expanded for you. If you just don't have it on turn one, then your opponent probably has it on turn one. And that's the end of the game. And what they got? They got counter energy because counter energy works on Vs. Yeah, so they just had a ADP Darchamp list. Let's go to game two. And I'm going first again. I'll start off with the Pseudo Wudo, but this is a dark deck. If this is Haunch Crow, I think I lose. It is not, so it's a mirror match. That's totally fine. I will, I guess, comp search. What do I even want off the comp search? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just do that, do that, because I'm getting rid of the hand. So I guess just get a double dragon energy off the comp search. Is that what I want to do? I don't really even know. There's not really a whole lot I can do at this point. Maybe I get Battle Compressor and thin my deck a little bit. But no, I mean, I have a guaranteed Garchomp attach, so I just have to hope that they have a slow start. And there's no reason to pop the Execute because I'm getting rid of my hand anyway. So Garchomp and Giratina. Yeah, you have a good deck too. Okay, so we got that. We got that. I don't... It'll be interesting to see if the Pseudo Wudo comes into play at all. I don't think it will. And we got the Trainer's Mail. I get a Quick Ball. I don't think I should go for anything. Maybe I go for... I'm not down to Versus Seeker. This just increases my odds. Of... No, because if I need to... Yeah, I need to see what they do. This, this is expanded. You might have thought that first game was an anomaly and uh, most games in Expanded are ultra competitive and really fun and back and forth. No. Expanded is a great format if you're starting out because you can just put any cards you want in a deck and just put it online and you face other people with similar skill levels that are doing the exact same thing on the higher levels. It's like I said, I can't remember what video I said it in, but in a previous video, if you take all 10 of the top 10 decks in Expanded, uh, it doesn't matter which one. You will have five positive matchups, three or yeah, so it's five positive matchups. You'll have one auto loss. You will have one game where you're probably going to lose unless everything goes right. You're going to have two matchups that are even and then one that is just uh, who even knows what's going to happen. That's just expanded. There's no real top deck in expanded. There's just a tier one and there's a whole bunch of decks in that tier one because they all have different matchups. You know, the reason Garchomp and Giratina was number one is because it had good matchups, it had the right draws, the opponent, you know, they didn't have the right matchup, they didn't have the right draws. Like, it, you saw in that first game, who knows what's going to happen. If you just have a one-turn stumble and expanded, you're playing tag team Pokemon, you stumble once, that's the end of the game, that's it. You know, I, I don't know why I put the Noibat down. I guess I just did it because. And they're just going to go for the hit. They can't. Good news is is they, they need a lot to knock out Garchomp and Giratina this turn. Because they put the Float Stone on it. Muscle Band would have made their life a lot easier. I Maybe the Pseudo Wudo comes into play because they can't play that extra Pokemon. They, what do they got? They got a quick ball. So they're they're abandoning the Noivern strategy, which is a good idea. I'm an idiot. Oh, so they don't, no matter what, they can't do it this turn unless they just have the Roxy coughing combo. Oh, they got nothing. Or they got everything. I don't know. Please don't tell me they have Guzma. Well, even if they have Guzma, it's okay. So it's not game. And this deck plays great catcher. 
So that's good. So I can Guzma that thing. I will need Quick Ball versus Seeker. I could go for Great Ball. This is tough. There's so many options. I'm not knocking out that Zigzagoon. I'm definitely knocking this guy out. So I think I just attach Guzma. Uh, I do have Great Catcher though, and if I get a Great Catcher, that just opens up my possibilities. But if I Guzma, then I'm just sort of banking on. Oh, I don't even have Dedenny. I've used my Dedenny. So, what is the safe play here? I think. I mean, I can Roxy and put a damage counter into play. This is really tough. I think. I think I have to go for the Roxy play, to be honest. That I think that seems like the safest bet right now. As weird as that might seem, I get the coughing. Put a damage counter. Hope for like muscle band and some stuff. So let's see what happens. I don't know. There there was a bunch of different ways I could have played this and doesn't work out. That's that's the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, so I can battle compressor, just get rid of an execute, and I guess battle compressor and a lightning energy. Because I needed this great catcher and I didn't get it. So, nothing I want to do there, no scoop up, no reason to do that, no verse seeker, so yeah. And then you just, you have one, not 100% turn in expanded. There's the muscle band, now they can take the knockout. This is expanded for you. You stumble once, and it's game over. You stumble once, and it's game over in expanded. In standard, you stumble once, it's probably game over, but you stumble once in expanded, it's definitely game over. Because they will, yeah, they'll just go for Guzma, assuming they have a support Pokemon. Yeah, so they'll go for Guzma, they'll attack with the one with the Muscle Band, they just need a Double Dragon Energy. If they have a Computer Search, then it's guaranteed. Have they played Computer Search yet? No, they haven't. Okay, so they don't have the Knockout guaranteed. Oh, here we go. So they'll go get Crobat. Oh, but they use Guzma. What? What did they screw up? Are they out of crow? Oh, you make one mistake. Yeah, I, I've been there. I, I made that mistake against Haunch Crow. I thought I played Haunch Crow earlier. It's Haunch Crow stops you from playing special energy tools and stadiums. I forgot about the stadium part. You know, that's that's also the crazy thing in expanded. There's just what, 10,000 cards? I don't, I don't think it's that much, but there's just thousands of cards. You have to know what exactly what they do, and you make one mistake, and it's came over. But let's go to game three. This is expanded for you. And for the third game in a row, I think I lose the coin flip. That is totally fine with me. I don't know what fairy deck I'm playing against. Tapu Lele, I'm totally fine with Tapu Lele as my starter. If this is a fairy deck, it's not a fairy deck. It's the Mew deck. Um, so how do I play this one? I think I go get Noibat. Assuming Noibat's in the deck. Noibat is prized, so... Oh man, isn't isn't that crazy? Previous two games, Noibat, Noivern combo, not really necessary. And then the one game where, oh, I just automatically win if I get the Noibat, Noivern combo. Sorry, not happening, but they... In order for them to attack, they do need some things. I think... Field Blower, I don't think is necessary, but I got my Executes, so let's just get rid of them. I don't really know what else I need for turn one. So I have Garchomp and Giratina, I have the attachment, I got my Executes. They're not going to block my abilities because they rely on abilities. Uh, I mean, it's turn one and expanded. There's not a whole lot you can do. And with the Shaman EX ban, I think Fast Raid decks are pretty much done. I mean, yes, they can still exist. It's just, instead of doing 170 damage, you're probably doing on average 60 to 70. Hey, random receiver. If you're just playing a welder deck, random receiver is great. And there's their field blower, just as I expected. So this is gonna be interesting. They're playing, they're not playing the Mew, the, you know, a tournament Mew, they're playing welder Mew, which is gonna be quite a bit different. And this one, which is Memories of Dawn, you can use the attacks of any of your basic Pokemon in play. So if you have a tag team Pokemon, this just lets you use a tag team Pokemon's attack and it's a 50 HP one prizer. So this Mew is great. It's always going to be good until it rotates, if it ever rotates or gets banned or anything. 
But I think if they can't do anything, I just automatically win. So again, this is expanded for you. The games are quick. The games are kind of unfair at times. You'll face off against a deck that is just an auto win. You know, Haunchcrow is insane. There's Volcanion. That doesn't help. And hey, I saved the Field Blower for a good reason. And instead of attaching to the Mew and just doing, you know, 130, and which wouldn't be enough to knock out Lele, they just used Encounter. Oh, that is interesting. So I'll get those guys out of there. And I think... In the next round of bans, I think Execute just needs to go. It takes too long for the Executes to come out of the discard pile. It's... it. I just, I don't like it. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go get Tapu Koko. Why not? You know, it's just, it's too powerful. You can reuse it turn after turn, unless they say you can only use it once per turn. Like, they, it says it obviously once during your turn, but that, that resets when it goes to the discard pile, so I think it needs to be... They need to issue an errata and make it like Crobat V, where it says you can only use, you know, one propagation ability per turn. And what do I what do I want? What's uh, what's my discard? So I do have two in there. I could just go for another double dragon energy, and that'd be pretty funny. Uh, I could go for Great Catcher and take two prizes, but they could knock me out. So I do have to knock out the Mew. I think I just go for the double dragon energy. And the reason I'm doing that, I'll show you in a second. Let's get rid of those. Oh, I guess I should have gone for Floatstone. That was that was dumb. Should have gone for Floatstone. Okay. Gonna get punished. Okay. Um I guess I just get rid of these two. The deck does play Rescue Stretcher, so I think I go for Crobat first and then to Denny. Oh, I don't have anybody. Oh dear, so I prize Noibat, Crobat, and Denny. So this deck apparently has something against bats. Um, I don't have anything I can do. Uh, sure, let's just get that guy. Why'd I put this on the field? I don't know. Things are interesting. I made a huge mistake. I thought the deck would co cooperate. It did not. I do have a Juniper for next turn, so yeah, that didn't go well. You know, and the other thing with Mew, it has 50 hit points. If they just had four Mew on the field or something, I could use Boom Burst on Noivern GX. That does 50 to all your opponent's Pokemon, but I prize the Noivat. Ah, so, you know, when you play thin lines in a deck, sometimes you get screwed by prizes, sometimes you make mistakes. You know, I'm the best Pokemon player in the world, obviously, and even I make mistakes, but no, I'm, I'm nowhere near. I don't even play in tournaments just because... I, I know I wouldn't do well. I don't have the time. You know, it, when I eventually start streaming, which could be months away, I don't know. I will for sure play in tournaments as much as I can. It's just right now I can't. But I, I do like playing the tournament level decks. It's a lot of fun. But if you're starting out, don't jump into something like this. You know, build your own deck, take it online, you know, level yourself up in time. Don't just jump right into the top decks where there's so many combos and so much stuff is flying at you. Just jump into Expanded, have some fun, and they have another lucky egg. Okay, so they are going to, yep, take a knockout, that's fine. I mean, they're going to have, okay. I was going to say, they're going to have all these Pokemon... So my, oh man. So I have to get rid of the coughing, unfortunately. That was just an unfortunate top deck because I have to, I have to Juniper. Really like to save that coughing for a Roxy play, but we're both not uh, getting the best draws here. And okay, so that's interesting. I can get Stoop Up Net. I have Roxy, yeah, that's fine. So I do have the two energy in the discard, right? I just have the one. Okay, so I'll probably... Um, do I just want to attach again? You know what? Let's go for it. Let's... Uh, no, I, I can't be that reckless. I do have to play a little bit conservatively, and I do have to put a damage counter on this thing. Keep that there. I will attach there, and then I will use... Guess Calamitous Slash? Yeah, sure. 
Hopefully they don't play Enhanced Hammer or anything. And what I was going to do... Yeah, they have Lucky Egg. That's totally fine. You can't... I don't think they can take a knockout. I'm fairly confident that they cannot take a knockout this turn. Oh, unless they have everything. But unless they get a Hearth, I think... That might be okay. I don't know. This is gonna. This is probably gonna end poorly for me. But my plan was, oh, I just use GG and GX. You know, discard two Pokemon. That would have been funny. But you know, again, the the expanded format. The top two decks in expanded were Garchomp and Giratina and Pikachu and Zekrom. So clearly, tag teams are ruling in expanded because games in expanded might last two turns, maybe three. So tag teams are just the best in Expanded right now, and Standard is VMAXs, and Expanded is tag teams. And, ooh, this could be interesting. So if I can Guzma knock that out, I would Guzma into Zigzagoon, scoop up the Zigzagoon, knock it out with Garchomp and Giratina, maybe do some things, but then I go to three, but they could knock me out. Oh, this is this is gonna probably not end well for me, because they knocked out that lily. That I made that mistake with Floatstone. I was, you know, I was thinking I was going left when I should have gone right. I was thinking, oh, just I'll just get some energy, guarantee some energy. No, I, I had the attack. I should have just gotten Floatstone. And they're playing Blacephalon. Okay, so they they have to get rid of a Verse Seeker. I mean, I'm pretty sure they, they have enough juice left in their deck. I just don't know if they're going to quite get it this turn. And if they stumble this turn, then I will take two prizes for sure. Yeah, they can't do anything. Their bench is full. So I would take two prizes this turn, prize next turn, but they just need to take two knockouts. Uh, actually, I think I might lose, to be honest, unless I can... Unless I can do some spicy things, I would need coughing. So what's my rescue stretcher? So I would need to knock out this Mew through damage counters. So I would need to put the Zigzagoon down, ping the Mew, scoop up the Zigzagoon, ping the Mew, and then does the deck have another one? Is there two scoop up net in the deck? I really hope there's two scoop up net in the deck because that is my win condition. Just because I need to take five prizes as long as they don't put down the Reshiram and Charizard, if they put that down, then I win. But I think they'll play it conservatively. I mean, even if I even if they do nothing this turn, they can still win. Because they just have to knock out two Pokemon. And that's not difficult when you can easily do 300 damage a turn. And it was just an attach to the Mew and pass. So what do I do here? Do I just knock that out? Because they didn't have a whole lot going on, so I think I think I just have to go with my game plan here. I do that. Guzma the Volcanian. I don't know why they keep attaching to the Mew when they want to use Volcanian. I do that. I put it down. Do that. I will, I guess, attach the Lightning there. I guess. And then I won't use GG End. Because that doesn't help me. And then I'm fully expecting the Star Chomp and Giratina to get knocked out. And I just, I need some things. I need a scoop up that Great Catcher is not going to do it for me. There's Crobat. That could help, for sure. But I basically, I need my top deck to be Rescue Stretcher because this coughing has to go back in the deck. I will need two coughing and a scoop up net and Roxy pretty much all in the correct order for this to work. I can thin my hand down a little bit to pop the, uh, to use the Great Catcher onto Denny if I need to, but it, it all depends. If they knock out the Garchomp and Giratina this turn, then they've pretty much put me in a position where I have to get the absolute combo of all combos. So I do have a chance to win. It's just, if they take a knockout this turn on literally anything, if they knock out a Zigzagoon, they just need to take one prize this turn. They don't have to take a huge, okay, so I, I win. The, they would have to knock this out, but I still have this double dragon energy if they do knock it out, and I have rescue stretcher, so they've pretty much just lost because, you know, bum draws. That's that's how it happens. And yeah, I guess I'll I'll just use the two eggs, and you know, reset stamp doesn't exist in expanded. That's banned because it's way too powerful. 
they're a great catcher, but N does exist. I don't think they'll play N. If they play N, then they can't use Welder, so... I think this is pretty good, and you don't see the Welder version of the Mew. I mean, I guess it's a Blacephalon deck, and they put some Mew in there. And that, you know, that's good. Volcanian EX, you can do 30 more damage with your basic fire Pokemon just by discarding an energy. That works really well with Baby Blacephalon. And yeah, it's just a win. But normally, if you're playing Mew, you just play one copy in a deck like that just to hit other Psychic Pokemon for weakness. And hey, 1337, that's a pretty funny time. Usually, you see the memories of Don Mew in a deck with like Cramorant and other Pokemon with colorless attacks. And then you just use DCE and Dimension Valley and Tapu Koko. So you play a Mew Box deck. The Welder version, I think it has a place in Expanded. I just don't think it's, you know, in the upper echelon just because you, you got to hit your Welders and that's that can be tough. You got to have the energy in your hand with Blacephalon. You just, you got, there's a whole bunch of moving parts with just the, the Mew deck with a whole bunch of stuff on your bench. It's a lot easier. So I think just Mew with DCE and Tapu Koko, I'll probably cover it in the future. I think I've already covered it maybe in the past. But Garchomp and Giratina, this dragon, I guess it's not fair to call it Garchomp and Giratina. It's led by Garchomp and Giratina, but it is a dragon deck. Naginatal and Guzzlord, Chaotic Order, just take two prizes. That is so amazing. Noivern GX, that's just a basically a buster card. Distort, your opponent can't play any item cards. If you're facing a deck that is a stall deck that wants to use Crushing Hammer and Enhanced Hammer and all these items... You stop them in their tracks, or if you have a bad start, you can stop them from playing items. Sonic Volume. So many decks only play special energy. Case in point, this deck plays four copies of Double Dragon Energy and three Lightning. Yes, you can use Linear Attack for a basic energy and do 40 damage turn after turn, but if you can't play Double Dragon Energy, if you can't play your special energy, you're not going to win. So shutting off special energy is just great. So in the mirror match, it's can you get Noivern GX out first? Whoever does basically wins. Uh, alternatively, you know, if you're facing a mirror match, you just have to knock this out first because it does take that turn to evolve. It's just the deck, it uses dragons to their best potential. It doesn't worry about ADP, which is arguably the best dragon type. It uses the other ones that all have really good attacks. It's just a great deck in Expanded. I'll leave the list below. It's not mine. I'll leave a link to the list as well. And, you know, just take it online if you're somewhat experienced. If you're not, just build whatever deck you want, take it online, get some experience in Expanded, and then play something like this. And I will let you know, it, it is a little bit expensive. Computer Search, that's like 40 to 50 Darkness Ablaze packs. Crobat V is like 30. So everything else is fairly cheap. You know, Denny's Rising again. But, I mean, Tapu Lele is like two packs. So if you can, you can build this deck for cheap. Just you won't have Crobat and you won't have Computer Search. Everything else is fairly cheap. But, yeah, take it online. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.